So my wife called me and cut the video off, so I had to make a part two. But I left off on, you know, a video that I have ahead of this one shows you how to save a project as a template and keep using it so that these parameters will stay in just like they were in global. All right, but here we go. So I'm going to take, um, try to make this a little darker so you can see. I'm going to go to MIDI Learn. I'm going to click on my first slot there and I'm going to assign it to track one and I'm going to move it a little bit and make sure it sets and up here you'll see the parameter change to track mixer now I'm going to go here and I'm going to slide fader number one on my motor keyboard and watch this and that changes now it's reading it as absolute uh, MIDI CC alright there we go and I'm going to click off of learn, leave enable on. So when I move this, it ought to control track one. And that's what it's doing. All right. Now, here's the beautiful part. I, I could go all the way down through track eight here. OK, because I got eight faders and then my master fader controls my, my volume overall. But watch this. I'm going to bank over. Now, you see, this is working, right? Boom, it's working. I'm going to bank over the nine through 16. On where am I at? Fader banks. Bang. Go and move it again. It's not doing anything. You know why? Because now this wants to be track nine. So I'm gonna add a track nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to this one and I'm going over here to one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna move that one and watch this. Alright, now it's set. Actually, I'm sorry, I go to learn. I hit learn. Now I'm on that one. I'm going to hit this fader. And that's going to sync up the track mixer, channel 9. And then I'm going to move this fader. Watch this. There it is. Absolute MIDI CC. Click off for learn. And let's test it out. Now this is track 9 instead of track 1. And look at that. Track 9. Boom. There you go. And you can go up to 32 tracks. 32 on the encoders, which are these. You can set those up. I'm going to use those for my pan controls here. I'm going to use those for those. And they work. I've already tried it. And you got up to 32 pads that you can set. Sweet, sweet. The 